Is this the golden age of cheap guitars? Maybe. Is it the golden age of YouTubers getting rich claiming every new budget guitar sent to them is the greatest guitar ever made? Absolutely. This guitar is a literal toy. It is a joke. It's beginning to look like it's Amazon's house brand. Best choice guitars with a different paint job and the Squire logo slapped on them. Anyone promoting these guitars as anything but pure junk, you need to take everything that YouTuber says with a grain of salt. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So yes, that was an actual comment that somebody left on the video review that I did for uh, the Squire debut uh, guitar. Uh, and I wish I was getting rich off of YouTube and I wish people were sending me guitars to review, but that's not the case. My channel's not even monetized yet, so Mr. or Mrs. TRLJ2VX pretty much has no idea what they're talking about. They certainly don't know how YouTube works. So anyway, I found this comment rather interesting. So I'll post a link to the comments section of that particular video so you can check it out. Um, so this person goes on to say, just about every amateur woodworker has a CNC in their shop. I do. Making a good guitar body and neck is only as difficult as it is to program a CNC machine. It's the rest of the guitar that is the issue. Sure, you can play a $100 guitar, that doesn't mean it's enjoyable or good for someone just learning to play. For $100 more, people could get a Yamaha Pacifica that is literally in a different universe than these budget guitars, and it would set them up for a much better learning experience and path forward. You know this thing is crap. How many dreams do you want to destroy claiming it's not? So I went from being a rich YouTuber who's just getting guitars sent to me to someone who is destroying young guitar players' dreams. When you run a YouTube channel, you're bound to get comments like this, but I kind of looked at this as a challenge. This person was claiming that the Yamaha Pacifica, the one in the $220 range, is miles ahead of the Squire debut, which was only $120. So for $100 more, we can get a guitar that isn't a toy or a piece of crap. So. I decided to take that as a challenge and went out and bought myself a Yamaha Pacifica. So contrary to what this commenter said, I do not have guitar companies just sending me guitars. The only guitar I've ever been sent was the guitar that I reviewed for the Tease Guitar Company. And I'm not sure, I might have to send that one back. But anyway, this I purchased uh, from Amazon uh, came in an uh, out, outer box. That's kind of what uh, Amazon does uh, with their fulfillment. And uh, so inside that box was this box, which is your, your typical wedge shape guitar box. Again, it has the word guitar on it. So if you have porch pirates, have someone sign for it when it's delivered. So inside is same as all the other guitars I've reviewed, just a white foam sort of foam bag uh, we got our bag of goodies with the uh, wrench and tremolo arm and then the guitars in this plastic and it's a nice padded box it's got some extra padding in it where it's needed uh, and then this one's got the strings uh, wrapped in paper which is Kind of nice, keeps them from rubbing up against the frets. Okay, there it is. This is the Yamaha Pacifica, which is $100 more than Squire debut. And according to this person, uh, far superior. So a couple things that I noticed right off the bat, uh, unfinished maple neck, same as the Squire uh, debut. And then check these out. These tuning keys are those sort of cushion style tuning keys. And you typically see these on uh, very cheap guitars. And then these specs, 
on this. The fretboard is Sanokalin, and that, I guess, is an Indonesian uh, rosewood, which is identical to Indian rosewood, uh, according to the internet. Uh, which makes sense because this guitar was made in Indonesia. It's the Yamaha, but it's not made in Ch uh, it's not made in Japan. It's made in Indonesia. Um, there is a sticker with country of origin on the back, and they are doing serial numbers. Uh, just a stamped logo on the front. Uh, like I said, unfinished neck. That's how you make a, a guitar a cheap guitar affordable. Is you you cut corners. And not finishing the neck is one of those things. Um, I think the Squire debut was an unfinished neck too. If it is finished, it's a really, really thin, just a sealer on it. We've got a single ply pit guard on here. Uh, the debut had a three ply. Uh, this one's pretty thick though. It doesn't look like it's something that's going to warp. Uh, this is a humbucker single, single, single tone, single volume. That's also a way to make things uh, less expensive. That's one less tone pot that you have to put in. Uh, the wiring might be a little simpler. The Squire uh, debut has volume, tone, tone. Uh, these are bent steel saddles. Uh, your six screw uh, tremolo system there. Uh, it's got the small trem block, same as the debut. Single ply cover on the back there. Um, I took a measurement of this, and this is a one and three quarter inch thick body, so it's a little bit thicker than the uh, Squire Debut. Uh, the body is a Gothis, which is actually uh, like a pine. It's, it's considered a softwood. It's an actual uh, conifer tree. It's in tropical regions of Southeast Asia, Pacific Islands, Australia, New Zealand. So, you know, again, manufactured in Indonesia, they might be using uh, local wood. Uh, and that also brings the cost down because you're not importing uh, wood from other places. Uh, paint job is really nice. I don't have anything negative to say about that. Fit and finish seems all right. Frets are nice. Fret ends are smooth. Frets are, they look like they're kind of on the taller end. Action feels pretty good. Uh, we'll tune it up and play it here in a little bit. It's got a weird plastic cover over the uh, uh, access to the uh, truss rod, which is interesting. Strap buttons are just your standard turn metal, whatever that is. Chrome, everything's chrome. Five-way switch, if I didn't mention that. No push-pull, uh, just the humbucker is not a split. So let's see, um, what else can we say about it? 25 and a half inch scale length. Fretboard radius is pretty flat. It's uh, 13 and three quarter according to the uh, specs. 22 frets. The debut is a 21 fret. Uh, doesn't say what the width of the nut is. So let's take a quick measurement of that it's probably one point or six was it 43 millimeters probably forty just shy of forty one millimeters so it's I think it's a little narrower than the than the squire let me make sure this thing is zeroed out it is, yeah. Okay, so anyway, uh, so far, <laughs> seems about equal to uh, the Squire, uh, which is $100 less than this guitar. So, true test is how it sounds, so let's plug it in and check it out. Okay, everybody, I've got this uh, tuned up. I'm running through a Reaper session, of course, with Morgan Amp's Suite from Neural Amps, just on a kind of a clean channel, that's the humbucker, so I will say this guitar does sound good, uh, this is the second position.
So that would be the humbucker in middle, I believe. So the humbucker is pretty hot. And then when you turn it down, it, you, it, you lose a lot of that. So you have to turn your turn your amp up for the clean. And then the middle. As far as intonation goes, it seems uh, pretty good. Action's a little high on it. I'd probably lower that a little bit. Okay, here's the uh, bridge and middle, or uh, neck and middle. And then the neck. Sounds good. I mean, it's got great tone. Uh, don't have any problems with the electronics in it. They sound pretty good. Um, setup is pretty nice. I'd say right out the gate, the setup on this one is better uh, than the setup on the debut. I had to do a little bit of tweaking on that one to get the uh, intonation set correctly on it. Um, other than that, they're pretty much the same guitar. I mean, let's uh, check out the debut again <clears throat> as far as tone goes. Now, obviously, this is a, you know, there's no humbucker on this. It's just all single coil. So it's kind of hard to compare the two. So from the sounds of it, I think the strings on this are probably a little cheaper than the strings on that. Um, as far as the electronics go, I think they sound pretty, pretty similar. I mean, again, it's hard to tell, or it's hard to compare because that one's got the humbucker. But then the issue was, you know, this person that made the comment uh, basically said that this was a toy compared to that one. That for $100 more, you could get such a better uh, guitar. Um, no. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, this person's flat out wrong. They don't, they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, and it's obvious that they didn't you know, they've never played this debut. So they're just talking out their rear end because for some reason they, you know, they're offended by the fact that a hundred dollar guitar could sound good. Uh, so I don't get that, but you know, they kind of made the comment that, you know, that the neck and the body are probably equal, but then it's all the rest of the stuff that, that makes the difference and, and separates the two. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, the frets are, the frets on this one are lower than this one there. These are taller frets, so I don't know if that would make it easier uh, to play or what. Um, I don't know. I like a thinner fret because I have a tendency to mash down on, hard on the frets and then it causes them to go out of tune if I have uh, a guitar with tall frets. Uh, as far as the 
fretboard radius. I don't know if the flatter fretboard is necessarily better. Um, I don't have a problem with this. I think this is the nine and a half inch radius. I think this one's what I say was 13 or 12 or something like that. Um, tuners, I mean, like I said, the tuners on the uh, Squire seem to be a little bit higher quality than the Pacifica. Um, I mean, I don't know. Fender even puts uh, those, has in the past, put those types of tuners on their guitars. It's just, I kind of associate them with cheaper, uh, cheaper guitars. I think they're a, a cheaper tuner. So, yeah. Fret work on it's nice. The fret ends on the Pacifica are filed quite at quite an angle. So you can, if you're not careful, you can probably pull that high E right off. Um, where these are more, these aren't quite as, you know, angled. Um, I like the matte finish on this one. Uh, this has got a gloss finish, so a little more production time. Uh, which is going to drive the cost up. Uh, so yeah, what can I say? It's uh, it's one thing to you know to be critical, but it's another thing completely to just talk out your ass when you don't have any idea what you're talking about. You know, these guitars are pretty similar. Um, you know, this is a light wood um that's poplar you know so the woods are about the same like i said unfinished necks that saves cost uh so is this guitar a hundred dollars better than that guitar i mean this person was making the claim that that this one is so much better than that guitar and that if someone bought that guitar it would discourage them from playing because it's so bad it's nothing more than a toy which i'm not even gonna you know i'm not even gonna argue about that because it's that's completely false um the debut is great it's a great guitar i like it uh like i said had to do a little bit of setup on it i don't know if it was just that particular one uh some other people that have reviewed the debut online didn't have any problems with intonation pull it right out of the box and played it um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, it's a great guitar. It's a nice guitar. Uh, I've always kind of been curious about them. I've never owned one. Uh, I've never owned a Yamaha electric guitar. I've owned plenty of Yamaha acoustic guitars and they make great products. They're, they're really good. Their acoustic guitars, their, especially their older ones are amazing. Um, so nothing wrong with this guitar. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. Uh, but for a hundred dollars less, you can get Squire debut. Technically, it's a Fender. It's got that headstock on it, and you know it's that classic Fender, you know, Stratocaster. Uh, so, yeah, interesting. People uh, people get wound up about brands, and they get wound up about uh, all these little details and you know and when you contradict their I don't know their sort of belief system uh, about some of these things then they get all worked up so anyway this person went went on to say I quit playing guitar when I was a kid because of these cheap guitars which this guitar probably wasn't even uh, available when he, this person was a kid uh, he says I don't want to see that happened to others. I'm all for low cost guitars, but not cheap guitars. And that's exactly what these Amazon specials are, which the Squire debut is not an Amazon guitar. It's actual uh, licensed Fender product. Um, cheap guitars. That's exactly what these Amazon specials are, cheap guitars. But we'll see maybe in 35 years from now, Amazon Squire debut 
will be in literally every guitar shop and one of the number one recommended budget-friendly guitars that punches well above its price point, like a Pacifica. As for the rest of your comments, Squire Affinity, PV Raptor Plus, Yamaha Pacifica, the Ibanez. There are lots of companies that make lower-cost guitars. These are what you should be promoting, not these toys designed for no other reason than to extract money from people's wallets. Anyway, good luck with your channel. So, anyway... I I don't know what else to say other than, uh, I don't know, I guess if you've got an opinion about something and you feel strongly about it, you're going to go to the comments and, you know, type away and whatever. But it would be nice if people at least uh, knew what they were talking about and maybe held one of these guitars and played it and were able to compare it between the two because there's really no difference uh, between the two, uh, a little bit different materials in as far as wood goes um, looks like the Yamaha uh, you know is a little bit cheaper tuners I think I think those are cheaper tuners and uh, other than that it's you know it's it's like I say it's a guitar uh, guitar sounds good you plug it in you play it you know I don't have anything bad to say about it uh, so anyway there you go <laughs> uh, Jay Allen guitar uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time